The best part about a smart home isn't that you can control your lights or your thermostat from your phone or by yelling at Alexa from across the room, although that is very empowering. It's that you can link these devices to talk to each other so that they can do things that you want them to, but without you having to tell them to do that. These are known as automations, and today we're going to go over a couple of them. Hey folks, welcome back to Tech Tech and More Tech. As I mentioned in the last video from last week, I went over the Akara Smart Home Starter Kit that came with five different devices in there. In the kit, you get a motion sensor, a contact sensor for like windows or doors, you get a smart button, a smart plug, and a hub that has like an LED ring around it that works with like a smart light. In that review, I also mentioned that with these five devices, you can actually get started with home automation and you can do a decent amount of it as well. So in this video, I wanna go over the top five automations that you can do with just the devices that are in this kit without having to go out and buy uh, extra lights or extra plugs or anything else. Just with this starter kit, these are the automations that you can do to kind of get you really into the spirit of a smart home. Now with home automation, basically you've got some sort of input and some sort of output. Usually the input's gonna be either like a time of day or a certain action is triggered. And then the output is gonna be a device changing its state. The most obvious automation is with the motion sensor. And because the hub has a smart light built into it, you can basically have it so that every time you walk by the motion sensor, the light will turn on to a certain brightness and a certain color. And this is very straightforward, but home automation get a little bit more complicated than that and a little bit more nuanced too. So for example, you can add in extra variables, like for example, the time of the day. So for example, if you have the hub in the hallway, like I do, that works kind of like a path light. During the day, I don't need that light to come on because, well, it's light out. So now you can add an extra variable into all of this saying that basically, okay, so we don't want the light to turn on whenever the motion sensor is sensed because it might not be useful in the daytime. So let's add the variable that it'll only turn the light on to a certain you know, color and, and brightness when it's dark out. And you can add extra layers to this, for example, a certain color a couple hours before sunset, a, a different color, different brightness after sunset. You can really play around just to kind of get these things exactly to your liking. The next automation also uses the motion sensor, which makes sense. But this time we're gonna control the plug. A very common thing to do is to plug a lamp or some sort of lighting into a smart plug. So that way you basically get the benefit of smart lights but without having to go out and buy uh, new light bulbs or anything like that. So then obviously you can make a very similar automation. It says, well, whenever someone walks by this motion sensor, it'll turn this plug on and that plug is then plugged into a lamp, which then in turn turns the lights on. I will say anything that is motion sense based with lights, you kind of want to play around and figure out how long you want that uh, device to stay on for if you want it to turn off at all. You can add an extra layer to that automation that says, well, if no motion is detected for a certain amount of time, well then turn it off. So for example, if you walk into your room just to grab something and leave, it's not going to leave the light on all the time. And it's also not necessarily going to be uh, limited to a specific amount of time either. It'll just be, well, uh, if no motion is sensed for a couple minutes, well, now I know that everyone's gone, I can turn it back off. Again, this is something that you're gonna wanna play around with to kind of figure out exactly what amount of time or what sort of situation works best for you in your setup, but it's a highly convenient thing. All right, the next automation is with the contact sensor. Now, the contact sensor you put on your door or a window if you want, but in this situation, we're gonna put in a door so that Every time you open the door, it will do something. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't wanna use location-based automations to turn your lights on when you come home or when you leave home, you can do it this way. And this definitely works best if you have a sort of set schedule that you kind of stick to most of the time. So for example, let's say you leave for work every morning at 8 a.m. and you come home around 5.30, right? Pretty normal schedule. So in that scenario, you can make an automation that says, when the contact sensor is open between the hours of 7.30 and 8.30, just to give yourself some leeway, turn everything off. So turn off the smart plug and turn off the uh, smart light. And then you can make another automation in the evening that says between the hours of let's say 4.30 and 5.30 or six or seven, depending on kind of uh, when you usually come home. When that contact sensor is open, turn the lights on. So turn the plug on that's connected to a lamp and turn your smart light on as well to a certain color and brightness. This essentially gives you the coming home and going away routine, but without having to use a GPS based uh, trigger like your phone. Now kind of sticking to the same theme of coming and going from your house, uh, this time it's gonna be location based. 
So instead of using the contact sensor and a certain time of day to determine whether or not you're leaving or going and uh, doing the automation, this time we're gonna use your phone and its look and its GPS. And this definitely works better just overall, uh, but also if you have multiple people, because then you can kind of specify for each person um, how it reacts. You can make, basically make it so that every time you leave, all your lights turn off, and every time you come home, your lights turn on. And again, you can add more var variables so that, for example, if you come home in the middle of the day, you don't need your lights to turn on. I know I don't. So let's say automation is triggered when you come home and it's one hour before sundown. Well, then you can make it turn on your plug that's connected to a lamp and turn on your uh, hub light to a certain brightness and a certain color. But then you can go even further. So that, let's say it's completely dark. It's past sundown. You can make it so that the um, light in the hub changes to a different color and different brightness because it's a different situation. And lastly, there are the good morning and good night scenes. This is something that I've been using for years and years now and I, and I don't think I can ever really go back. Basically, in the morning when you wake up, if you wake up at the same time every morning, have your lights turn on. Right now, there's still no good way of connecting the default um, alarm app on your iPhone to uh, automations but hopefully that will come in the future, but nonetheless. You can still make it so that, let's say I get up around 5.45 every morning. So I can just make a, make a simple automation that says at 5.45, you know, turn my lights on. So if the hub was plugged into an outlet in my room, I can have it so that it turns on to a certain brightness and a certain color at 5.45. Then if it, the plug is plugged into a lamp in my room as well, I can have that turn on, let's say it's at six o'clock, so it completely wakes me up. There's no easy way of doing gradual um, light turning on within the home app. You kind of would just have to make it so that you know, at 5.45 it's at 50%, at 5.50 it's, you know, 75%, 5.55 it's, you know, 100%, something like that. But again, it is something that's really nice that kind of helps wake up, especially when it's dark in the morning, just to wake up for a little bit of light. And then finally, the good night routine, which is basically the same as the good morning, but at night, uh, I'm a big fan of. So you can have it so that, for example, um, it'll turn off the smart plug when you go to bed and it turns off your lights, assuming you have a lamp plugged into it in all these scenarios. And then also your hub light can then slowly go from uh, bright to you know less bright and then all the way off uh, at a certain time or over the period of a certain time until you want everything to be completely dark and you're ready to completely go to sleep. So there you have it. That is five-ish uh, easy automations that you can do all with just the devices you get in the Acara Smart Home Starter Kit. This doesn't require any external devices with the exception of an iPhone uh, or, for, or a phone in general for location-based stuff, but chances are you have that anyway, so I'm gonna count it. But as always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. What are some of your favorite automations? Um, what are some automations that you wish you could do that maybe you can't do yet? Uh, let me know, I'm really curious because I think automations are kind of the whole reason you kind of go and get a, a smart home to begin with. You know, yelling at Alexa across the room to turn something off is all well and good, but I'd prefer to not have to interact with it at all, and it kind of just reads my mind. If you liked that video, hit that like and subscribe button for plenty more videos to come. And until next time, see ya.